The great triumph is our relevance to all of Africa. I think it is epitomized by Enya Mesmo's being elected chair of the United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Child. That is a triumph. But he is not South African. The Community Law Center has become African in a way that almost no other South African organization has. And also teaching masters doctorates and they're very good doctorates. When I was here, I, I saw them. And that is a stamp of the academic achievement of the centre. It might have been a non-governmental organisation out somewhere in Athlone, writing the constitution and carrying on. But the point about this one is it's an academic centre. And what demonstrates that is the honorary doctorate given in Switzerland to Nico Statler, which is world recognition. In my name is, I had to sign the briefs for the treatment action campaign where we were friends of the court. We briefed Geoffrey Budlinder. Justice Sachs says that Budlinder just opened up the whole debate for the court. We did a really good thing there. The Grootboom case, the Modukle Bordere case, uh, Grootboom was both child rights and shelter, Modukle was shelter, the Joe Slovo case, I can go on. We have to keep taking those cases as friends of the court, where we have something to say. I think the work done by Lucas Munting and the prison and torture work there is superb. Um, he's up there as the, among the best in the world. He must carry that on. Because what happens in our prisons is not good enough. Um, and torture is not good enough. I was tortured, I know what I'm talking about. Um, so we must keep all of that up. We clearly have massive things to offer. And what we are doing is finding wonderful students from all over Africa who come and do doctorates like Benya and then it end up leading the United Nations Committee. We just carry on with that. But the centre itself would lose its touch with the ordinary people, which is vital if human rights are also to be the And that long tradition of the ANC, the Communist Party and the Trade Unions, of being in touch with the base, I think the centre must not lose. So we're at the beginning of the Women's Revolution. I think we need to work much harder at all of women's rights.